Hello, I apologize for the fact that this is not natural lighting and you guys have kind of gotten used to that the last couple of videos, but the sun is sleeping and I have been informed that a Shadow and Bone trailer has been uploaded to IMDb. And I wanted to blind react to that occurrence. So I have my laptop. I'm going to actually screen record what I'm seeing because that's gonna make my job way easier since the last time I didn't do that. I have given Tally a licky mat in the other room so she hopefully will not bark and interrupt my emotional reaction. So let's do it. How people notice this, I mean, they must have posted it on Twitter and I've been on Twitter like all day, uh, but I, I didn't know, I wasn't. I wasn't aware. I have my headphones so I don't get a copyright infringement. All right, it's not letting me open it even though it's very plainly right there. Okay, now I have to go to Twitter and like try to find this. Okay, 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 okay. Good. I found it on Twitter, thank God. I was about to have a whole fit now. Sorry. Oh. Nice. Nice. This music, I'm emotional again. There never will be, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry uh, for the brief interruption, but my old lady cat is at the vet right now because she's not feeling super well. So um, that was them calling. So I didn't catch like the last little bit of the trailer. So let me go and do that. And then I'm gonna go back and watch it again with my reaction. You saw some of the things that I'm gonna talk about uh, when I was watching it the first time, but let's do it again. Okay, this is about where I was. So I'm gonna start it again. <laughs> Girl. Okay. And it looks like it kind of cut off because this is probably like a screen recording this person did as well. So thoughts before I go back and, and rewatch, and you saw my face, they are gonna tie in the crows by trying to have them kidnap Alina, like go get Alina. That's what it sounds like, right? So I'm a little like, what? Um. Like I knew they were gonna change things, but that, that's, is that what, that seems like that's what's happening, correct? Um, so instead of them getting the money to go, you know, do stuff post the series, the trilogy, they're gonna tie all of that into the trilogy. It sounds like, am I wrong? So then that means that Nina 
wouldn't have been with them yet because the stuff with Matthias is still gonna be a thing. And she, that'll, that would have been back when she, like, what? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch it again <laughs> and go through it kind of play by play. It's like Genya. I like Genya. I like that she looks like the actual son. <laughs> so good. Some of these scenes were obviously in the teaser, so. That look. <laughs> that look good. Like, the chemistry here is good. It was good, right? It was good. <laughs> These, okay, I would say that um, in the last trailer, I was so much more like, ah, about the Grisha Trilogy stuff. In this trailer, the Six of Crows stuff is getting me more. Like, I am, I am, mm, so like, they're talking about Alina. Like, the things that made me so happy about reading Six of Crows when I read it the first time was seeing the mentions of the trilogy and of Alina and Inej, like, talk- like, one of Inej's knives is named after Alina. Is that gonna be a thing here? Probably not, because she's not, like, a saint at this point. Like, so, yeah. Also, in the middle of this, I'm gonna just tell you, a lot of people- well, not a lot, but enough people to make me mad commented that, like, it's pronounced Grisha. I've been saying Grisha for so many years that I'm not gonna say it differently at this point. I know that it's pronounced Grisha. I don't care. Like, when you read a word for so long without knowing how it's pronounced, it gets embedded like that in your brain. I'm not doing it to be, like, rude. I've just said it like this in my brain for, like, six years. Anyway, that's just an aside. So if you want to comment that I need to say it, Grisha, go ahead. But you're not going to get through to me at this point. But the, the Six of Crows scenes in here, man, they're good. But I'm also, like, you're going to tie them into, like, the Alina storyline? What? Again... Like I've mentioned in past videos, these moments with her and Maul just like feel more real and give their relationship more weight than I felt like it had in the books when I was reading it. Anesh. See, bring me Alina Star- like, that- that's what they're doing, right? Uh, okay. You are. These scenes with her and Bagra, immaculate, so good. The Darkling's power here, oh, looks so good. It, lo it looks good, I like it, I like it. I will say I feel like his power, I still like how they're doing Lena's power, but I kind of like his more, the way that it looks, just visually. The how many bullets do you have not enough and Jesper and his guns, beautiful. It's beautiful. It looks so good. This is how I, pic I, I pictured him twirling his guns constantly when I was reading the books. Constantly, just twir twirling the guns. And there's like that level of snark there that is is real good as well. I, I like it. I like it. Makes me happy. Was that Zoya? I feel like that was Zoya. You only see Nina and Matthias for like a second. That was them, right? A second ago. You see them like barely at all. She has one equal. There are no others like us. That's, that's right. Oh, the stag. I don't know what the end is going to be, obviously, because this was, what, like, leaked and then taken down from what I'm seeing. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what they're going to, what they're going to end it with. Maybe, like, you and I are going to change the world or something would be, like, the final line. Because that was in the teaser, right? But, yeah, thoughts? Still happy. Still pleased. S still love to see it. Obviously less emotional. There was something about the teaser that just got me. Because it was, like, our first look, right? So now some of these scenes were in the teaser. We've already kind of seen them. Um, but, yeah, I would say... From this trailer, this gave us more crow stuff, and I'm much more intrigued about that just from this trailer. I'm intrigued about the whole thing, but just from this trailer, I'm much more intrigued about the crow stuff and the fact that they are integrating that into the Grisha trilogy. Because I really thought that they were going, and maybe they still are, maybe they're throwing us off the scent, I don't know. But I really thought that like the crow stuff was all going to be prequel type stuff, like all of their flashbacks from the books would have been during the kind of this time, and that's, so that's what we were going to see, but I guess from like a storyline standpoint, people would probably be like, why do we care about these people? Give us back to the Alina stuff. So pulling them into like potentially trying to steal her, are they gonna change like... <sighs> For season one, this feels fine. But does that mean that they're gonna like, how are they gonna do this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm okay. 
slightly nervous. Uh, I just don't know how they're, how are they gonna do, how are they gonna do this? To make both of those stories, cause I was just, I felt like they were gonna give us enough to have like multiple seasons so that we would eventually get to the Six of Crows stuff, which I guess can still happen. Like they would just then know Alina. I don't know, I have, I, I'm not a screenwriter. I don't know what they're gonna do with this, but there's still some scenes that I want to be in their original style um, from all the books. And uh, one of those is the end scene from Siege and Storm. Um, can you imagine we get Nikolai? Anyway, not the point, but I'm excited. Uh, those are my thoughts. I'm just still very like much reeling from how they're gonna do this. Let me know, let me know your thoughts. A lot of you have done way more research than me. I'm not looking at all the articles. I'm not watching the interviews. I'm not, I'm not doing any of that. I just wanna experience this thing in its purest forms without having to have all this background information from the cast and crew and everything else. So I don't do any of that kind of research. But if you guys have anything that you want to tell me, go on ahead. I'm just not spending my time doing that. Uh, but yeah, I was very happy that this happened to drop on a day that I already have makeup on. Love to see it. So comment below. Let me know your thoughts on how they're going to do all of this. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye.